While the methods aren't always popular among locals, from bans on non-functional turf to pool size restrictions, the water-saving outcomes are meant to ensure southern Nevadans have enough water for decades to come since future decline here at Lake Mead is all but guaranteed. And there's a lot of different varieties and species you can catch. You know what they say, a bad day fishing, largemouth bass, smallmouth bass, striped bass, is better than a good day at work. The fishing is great. For Noah Sanford, owner of Las Vegas Sports Fishing, he gets the best of both worlds. He knows the water well. You know, most people don't realize is that even though the lake is down a little over 170 feet vertically, if we drive out not even a half mile that way, the water is still well over 300 feet deep, in some parts almost 400 feet deep. But still, the changes over time are evident. And I can remember literally just seven or eight years ago, this whole bank right here, um, was completely underwater. But he tells me he's not worried about losing his line of work. So as long as there's still water, uh, I'm good to go. It's a confidence shared by Nevada's Colorado River negotiator, John Ensminger. Planning for water security five decades out might be boring to a lot of people, but it's what we do every day. He says the taps in Las Vegas aren't at risk. Even though the majority of our water comes from the river, Nevada gets the smallest share of any state. Just about 300,000 acre feet of water annually, one acre foot is about a football field filled with water, supplying a few households a year. So what does it mean having the smallest share of this water in a city that continues to grow? It's a question several viewers have asked me by email recently. Why do we keep building? So I took it to Ensminger. Uh, a common assumption is that growth automatically increases water consumption. And that's just not true when you look at the actual numbers. We're using over, you know, 35% less water today than we were in 2002, even after having added over 800,000 new residents. And for Noah's business, more people in Vegas is positive. Growth is actually a really good thing for a business owner out here on Lake Mead. As I've reported, water sharing agreements for the Colorado River expire this year, and the seven basin states have until February 14th to come up with a solution or risk federal takeover. The stakes remain high, as more decline here could mean more cuts ahead for all of us. Reporting at Lake Mead, I'm Geneva Zoltek.